Hey, what's up, geeks? This is Bry2J here with episode 22 of Yay Toys. Today's review is going to be on something a little different. It's going to be on the Arsenal figure from the Arrow TV series. Uh, Arsenal was a short-lived character, uh, also known as Roy Harper, played by actor Colton Haynes. Uh, he was a great addition to Team Arrow. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't stay on the show. Uh, I do know that he will be making guest appearances in Season 5. However, uh, the figure itself, I'm kind of kind of glad I picked him up. It's just unfortunate I picked him up too late and that I didn't uh, get to review him so uh, sooner. And I never got to review the rest of Team Arrow. Um, so, yeah... Uh, this is the Arsenal figure, um, and of course I have the honorary member of Team Arrow in the background, the Flash, that's the, uh, Season 1, uh, Barry Allen, uh, from, also from the TV series. Um, so yeah, uh, let's talk about Arsenal. So, here's the Arsenal figure, um, and I have to say, I really like this figure. I am kind of bummed I didn't pick him up sooner, uh, especially while he was on the show, um, but yeah, I mean, he looks really good with the rest of the team. I do wish I had the Felicity and the Diggle that they released, um, but right now we'll put the honorary, you know, honorary member of Team Arrow in the background, again, the Flash. Um, so, with this, uh, figure now, um, he comes with multiple accessories, um, he does have the single arrow just like the green arrow figure the dark archer figure and the oliver queen figure from the island um he comes with the bow a little different than um a little different than the green arrow one uh it's kind of almost the same to the um uh, oliver queen figure from leon yu um so yeah, I do like the fact that it is on a piece of elastic here, so you can pull the bow back. There is only one downfall. He can't be posed firing the bow. Um, yeah, kind of a bummer, because uh, I know you can get some really nice shots with the uh, Green Arrow figure. Um, not the one from the two-pack, uh, just the standalone figure. Um, uh, yeah, so that's a bit of a bummer. Another gripe is that the arrows in the back here, those are just glued in. You cannot have them uh, shoot multiple arrows. So that is also another bummer. Um, he does come with a couple of accessories, uh, sorry, a couple of option part hands. Um, he has the uh, open grip uh, left and right. He has the trigger finger for both left and right. He comes with default fists. And he comes with the two uh, open palm, uh, like kind of like jazz hands, or I, I guess it would be like hand-to-hand -hand combat. Makes sense since he's, you know, a vigilante. Um, so he also has one extra ex uh, accessory here. He has this knife. Um, he can hold it okay, I guess. Uh, you know, it just looks weird because he has the finger for the for the arrow. So. Um, kind of just slide it under here so yeah I guess it looks all right I'm not really big of a fan of it so I'm just gonna keep that back in the sheath on the show I'm pretty sure that the knife was at the back they have this kind of molded in one I'm not a fan of the molded in accessories um, however you know you just deal he's a nice display piece uh, another option that I think is pretty cool too it's kind of hard but you can actually hold on give me a second you could pull the hood down. I did it once. Uh, it's a little tight. Um, yeah, so you could pull the hood down, revealing his, you know, his head, which is cool that it's not molded on. At least they did that. Um, you could do the same with the Green Arrow figure as well. Um, so that's really cool. Like kind of there's them chatting in the, you know, in the uh, headquarters. I forget what they call it. It's not really, you can't call it a bat cave, but since Arrow is pretty much CW's Batman, you know, what? It, and, you know, anyway, um, losing train of thought. So, as for his articulation, you can 
uh, pose the head. It's just hard with the hood. Um, so you have to basically pull the hood off, turn the head how you like it, and then put the hood back on. Um, his arms go out that much. Uh, mine is tight on the upper. Surprisingly not on the lower, but I'll show you. They do all uh, spin all the way around. Single jointed elbow, no upper bicep swivel, so another bummer. He does have waist articulation. Uh, his hips go out that much. I'm not a fan of the gap, but whatever. Um, he does have the upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Uh, he does have wrist rot I'm sorry, ankle rotation, uh, and it's on a hinge, I think. Yeah, but it's very, very tiny. Oh yeah, on this one it works. Go figure. So that's it for his. Um, that's it for his articulation. Now, I guess because mine is. T I don't know if it's top heavy or it's just the way it was out of package that it's um, a little hard to stand. Uh, now let me show you how to swap out the option parts and show you the difficulty with the uh, posability with the bow and the arrow. Okay, so you want to have Arsenal fire the arrow. Um, it is impossible. Um, I've tried and tried again. The bow fits in his hand barely. You have to angle it just right. So you want to get it about there for, uh, for it to stay in that hand. Um, but because of the no bicep swivels, the no double joint uh, elbows, you really can't get him to do anything with the arrow except for barely hold it in the arrow shooting hand. So this will be the same for both sides. I am not gonna readjust the figure just to show you guys because it, trust me, it's the same thing. Um, so at the most you can have him hold the arrow that way. I don't get why they did that. Um, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, so, like, as much as I like this figure for display, um, if you want to pose him in, say, like, a, uh, in an arrow battle, uh, it just doesn't work. All right. So, now let me show you how to swap out the hands and talk about the height. Okay. So, say you want to swap out the option part hands, we'll go with the default fist. Um, you kind of just unsnap it. And take the new piece and you just snap it into place and all the option part hands also have the same hinge so they put range of motion in there why not in the rest of the figure no idea I'm kind of again really upset that they didn't do that um, for the height let me move him back a little Alright, so for his height, as you see, he's in scaling with Arrow and with uh, the Black Canary. That's the Sarah Lance version. Um, so for the height, he's just over six. He's not quite seven inches tall from the foot to the top of the hood. So yeah, um, I'm... I like this figure. He's a great display piece. Like I said, he looks good with the rest of the team. Um, I'm just bummed about those, you know, the lack of posability and just the whole thing with the bow and arrow. I mean, he's an archer for crying out loud. I mean, even though he was the, you know, not the original, but he, uh, he fired a bow and arrow multiple times on the show. He should be able to look like it in figure form. Well, that's it for me. I've been Bry2J. You could find this episode of Yay Toys on the Yay Toys YouTube channel as well as innercitygeeks.com. Um, there's a bunch of cool stuff happening with that website, guys. So, uh, you know, keep a lookout. Um, from a whole new design to a bunch of new shows. Um, so, yeah. Uh, innercitygeeks.com is where it's at. Well, that's it for this review. Uh, you could find me on Twitter and Instagram at BRI underscore 2J. And remember, when you're picking up that toy and you see it at hand, just scream out, Yay Toys! It's a good feeling. Peace.